Direct thermal and thermal transfer labels are ideal for on-demand applications, especially those calling for variable data, barcoding, and human-readable numbering. Hi, I'm Jennifer Wright, and in this video I will explain to you the advantages and disadvantages of direct thermal and thermal transfer labels. Direct thermal printers apply heat to the thermal print head, activating the direct thermal media. Through a chemical reaction, the label turns dark where the heat is applied. With direct thermal labels, there is no ink, toner, or ribbon consumable. Direct thermal labels are less costly because you don't have to buy a ribbon. The downside to direct thermal labels is that they are not scratch resistant and will start to turn when exposed to lighting, making them hard to read. Use direct thermal labels for short-term applications and when you want to print without a ribbon. Some examples of direct thermal labels are shipping labels, name tags, receipts, pick labels, and visitor passes. Thermal transfer labels require a ribbon when printing. Thermal transfer printers apply heat to the thermal print head, which transfers the image through a wax or resin ribbon to the label. Ribbons come in various colors, so you're not limited to black print. With thermal transfer labels, the image is crisp, durable, and fairly scratch resistant. If you need a label that lasts a year or longer, use thermal transfer labels. Some examples are asset tagging, inventory identification, laboratory specimens, outdoor and freezer applications. To tell the difference between a direct thermal and thermal transfer label, quickly and forcefully draw your fingernail across the top of the label, like you're striking a match. It may take a few times depending on the media. If a dark mark appears, it's a direct thermal label. If no mark appears, it's a thermal transfer label.